Hello Pharma aspirants, welcome to GDC English classes and welcome to GDC classes. So download GDC classes app from the Play Store for more details about GDC and their coaching. I hope you know already the GDC started English classes, nothing but the classes in English language, especially for the South India pharmacy students from Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Okay. So if you want to listen our GDC classes in English language, subscribe to GDC English classes YouTube channel. Okay. So let's go into the session. In this session, we will discuss about the antiseptics and the disinfectants. So first sterilization. What is sterilization? Destruction of all microorganisms including the spores also. Spores are not easily destroyed. Germicide, an agent used to kill microorganisms but not spore, including disinfectant as well as antiseptic. So, germicides nothing but they use it to kill the microbes, but they are not having capacity to kill the spores. So, spores are also a type of organisms they are not easily to kill or destroy because they containing in their shells, in their structure, they containing dipicolinic acid which is a calcium complex resistant to heat also. So germicides are generally two types antiseptics as well as disinfectants. What is the definition of disinfectant? Agent used to eliminate microorganisms on inanimate, inanimate objects. Example floor means floor, ground floor like tiles whatever it may be. Antiseptic it is an agent used to eliminate microorganisms on living tissues. Microorganisms on living tissues like our body parts, skin. So here the classification of the different classification of chemical compounds as a disinfectant as well as antiseptics. The trick pharma got. First P means phenol derivatives. Examples like phenol. Phenols also known as carbolic acid. Phenol, Crisol, Chloroxylenol, Hexachlorophyll, Halogens like Iodine, Iodophores, Chlorine, Chlorophores, Alcohols like Ethanol, Isopropanol, Aldehyde like Formaldehyde, Glutaraldehyde, Surface Active Agents Detergents like Common Soap, Cetrimide, a Quaternary Ammonium Compound, Benzalkonium Chloride, Metallic salts like silver nitrate, silver sulfur diesel, a sulfonamide, zinc sulfate, calamine, zinc oxide. Miscellaneous like nitrofurazone, acids like benzoic acid, boric acid, gases like ethylene oxide and p propiolactone, oxidizing agents like potassium permanganate, hydrogen peroxide, benzoyl peroxide, dyes like gentian violet, acriflavine, proflavine dyes like gentian violet acriflavine as well as proflavine so these are the list of the classification of antiseptic as well as disinfectant with the different actions so mostly they act on the microorganisms in different manner and kill the microorganisms growth on living as well as non-living objects non-living objects so we will go with phenols Phenols are also known as carbolic acids. Phenols are also known as carbolic acid. Phenols are also known as carbolic acids. Rarely used as antiseptic, as it is a corrosive, can penetrate the intact skin. Relatively weak agent, bacteriostatic at 0.2%, cidal at greater than 1%. Poor action on bacterial spores. Poor action on bacterial spores they affect on the any type of the organism but they ineffect on the bacterial spores okay so here generally the spores are highly dangerous highly infectious they are heat resistant they are radiation resistant also and so that's why most of the disinfectants as well as antiseptics having poor action on spores they act by denaturation of proteins irritation as well as toxic to the tissue so they causes denaturation changing the architecture of the proteins of bacteria the antibacterial activity of phenol increase by increasing the temperature exam uses disinfection of urine as well as pus 
नेक्स्ट क्रिजा क्रिजा नथमेट मिथैल फेना मोर् आक्टिव थ्री टू टेन टाइम अंड सेफर दैन द फेना सो थ्री टू टेन टाइम मोर् आक्टिव दैन फेना ऐस वेल ऐस सेफर दैन फेना क्रिजा मिथैल डेरीवेटिव आफ फेना less damaging to tissues compared to phenol so less damaging effect on tissues used to disinfectant of utensils excreta and also wash in the hands also and uh, chloroxylenol chloroxylenol nothing but simply it is a dettol chloroxylenol is a active ingredient of dettol remember so commonly they will ask what is the ingredient of chloroxylenol chloroxylenol is an active ingredient of dettol less toxic compared to phenol commercially 4.8% solution used for surgical antiseptics skin sorry <laughs> skin cream as well as soap 0.8% useful used to disinfectant surgical instruments and as an antiseptic for skin before any surgery as an antiseptic for skin before any surgery next cetrimide a quaternary ammonium antiseptic used as a antiseptic and disinfectant for surgical instruments nothing but gloves so savlon contains cetrimide and chlorhexidine gluconide savlon so savlon contain cetrimide as well as chlorhexidine as a ingredients next soaps soaps are weak antiseptic with cleansing they mainly for the cleansing cleaning purpose effect only in gram positive bacteria so soaps are mainly works in gram positive bacteria only gram positive bacteria only and next are halogens next is halogens so regarding the halogens yes the first common is the iodine it has a property of oxidizing the protoplasm of microorganism so iodine nothing but halogen causes oxidation of protoplasm of microorganisms its antiseptic efficacy decrease in presence of organic matter hypersensitive reactions can occur with iodine so but the drawback with iodine is it may produce hypersensitive reactions allergic reaction the preparations are tincture iodine that is 2% iodine in alcohol used as antiseptic on skin for wounds as well as prior to the surgery and mandel's paint contain iodine in potassium iodide as well as glycerin next lugol's iodine contain 5% iodine in 10% solution of potassium iodide iodophores acts by releasing iodine like povidone iodine used in burns boils prior to surgeries disinfection of instruments as well as endoscopies as well as endoscopy so these are the preparation of iodine like tincture iodine mandel's paint lugol's iodine iodophores as well as iodophores next ectoparasiticides 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 so regarding ectoparasiticides used to kill parasite that live on body surface used to kill parasite that live on body surface lice causes pediculosis a a hair infection mites causes scabies a skin infection the ectoparasiticides kill the parasite that live on the body surface the lice causes pediculosis at the hair and mites causes scabies on the skin infection next alcohols that is ethyl alcohol 70% ethanol used as a antiseptic on skin before giving injections as well as surgical procedure it should not be used on open wounds mucosa ulcers as well as scrotum as well as highly resistant so ulcers it is not like scrotum but it is generally highly irritant in nature not useful for disinfecting instruments promote rusting as it is promote rusting so not for disinfecting the instruments because it promoting the rusting act by precipitating bacterial proteins so it causes precipitation of bacterial proteins and causes killing of the bacteria 
Next, hard head. Especially in the hard head, formaldehyde is useful. 40% formaldehyde solution called a formalin. Used for disinfection of sputum, removal of warts on palms and soles, treat hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis. Treatment of hyperhidrosis. Okay, so warts, W A R T S, nothing but these are a tumor like growth on the body parts. So they are because of especially human papilloma virus, viral infection also. And uh, what is hyperhidrosis? Excess sweating. So these are used for disinfection of sputum, removal of warts on palms as well as soles, treat hyperhidrosis, excess sweating, and preservation of anatomical and pathological specimens. You know. The body parts can be preserved by using formalin. Oxidizing agents like hydrogen peroxide, a colorless liquid used for cleaning wounds, abscess cavities, abscess means pus, waste, removal of, uh, removal of uh, ear wax also, removal of uh, ear wax also. These oxidizing agents are useful. Next, acids. The general acids are like uh, Boric acid and sodium borate both are fungi static as well as bacteriostatic. They stop the growth of fungi as well as they stop the growth of bacterium. 2 to 4% solution used as mouthwash. 30% pain for stomatitis as well as glossitis. Glossitis means inflammation of tongue. Inflammation of a tongue. Okay, so stomat stomatitis. So stomatitis nothing but it is a pain or inflammation to oral mucosa which may lead to difficulty in talking, sleeping as well as drinking also. And 10% ointment for cuts as well as abrasions. Cuts as well as abrasions. So cuts as well as abrasions. So what are simply abrasions? Abrasions are nothing but superficial injuries on the skin superficial injuries on the skin what they do they damage the architecture of tissue particular body part they damage the architecture the arrangement of particular tissues okay so this is simply about the antiseptics as well as disinfectants okay so simply these are like miscellaneous topics just to go through the important definitions and their examples and if there, there is a simple mechanism how they showing their action on the microorganisms it may be bacteria fungi whatever it may be so like this interesting videos and concept based videos on pharmacy subjects so download gdc classes app from the play store and subscribe to gdc english classes youtube channel if you are from the south india students so especially gdc started classes in english language especially for the south india pharmacy students from andhra pradesh telangana karnataka kerala as well as tamil nadu Okay, so to break the language barrier, to make the classes to your destiny. Okay, so I hope you know, we are also starting. So GDC started classes for the, I think I'm going to start classes from July 15, especially for the 2025 as well as 2026 GPAT aspirants. So you can contact us on numbers what you know from GDC management so to get into the coaching so anyway this is our session on the antiseptics as well as disinfectants okay thank you